Hi Capricorn, welcome to How Love Tarot. This is your monthly reading for February 2021. For those of you that are used to watching me, uh, this is a new format where I will not be in front of the camera anymore due to having a very annoying troll who has nothing better to do with their lives but to disrupt other people's lives. So um, I've pulled your oracle cards and as they become relevant, I will go ahead and... You want it upright? Okay. Um, as they become relevant, I will bring them into the reading. What does uh, Capricorn need to know for February? What will help them? What does Capricorn need to know? All right. What's Capricorn? Thank you. Thank you. All right, Capricorn. Um, I was really kind of picking up your energy prior to, as I was pulling your oracle cards. So I'm just going to go ahead and start reading here for you. The first thing that I'm getting for you, which is now coming out in the tarot also, is that you've had a lot of difficulty in so many stresses around you and so many, so much difficulty in um, like trying to make choices around house and home and trying to make choices and feeling as if nothing is going as fast as you want it to go. Um, we have freeze up moon for you, identity, uh, self-discovery and vulnerability. And um, it's, it's as if you're going through the winter of your life. And I'm, I know you've gone through stressful things before, but this is different. It feels like things are not moving in the direction you want them to move. They're, they're not moving. Let's put it that way. They're not moving. Now, is that due to the pandemic? Yeah, I think a lot of it is due to the pandemic for most of you. Um, but you have been trying to find like some kind of, I think it got worse in the pandemic. You were already feeling as if things were kind of like very stressful and not moving in your life. And you wanting, um, uh, we have the eight of cups here, you know. And what's interesting is, is if you look at this card, we have freeze up moon. And here we have in the card, if you look at the picture, it's like woolly mammoths in the, um, in in a frozen environment you know and in, in a frozen environment obviously nothing grows and right next to it we have the eight of cups which is you walking towards the sun and walking away from things that um there's only one cup of love even though this is called the eight of cups there's only one cup of love and you're walking away from it so something has been dissatisfying to you and it feels as if you're finally um, feeling the courage to walk away from it. I also want to talk about this card right here, which is the Ten of Wands. And this has been a very, very heavy burden for you. And um, just like no forward movement. I also feel this in relationships. I feel like that, that uh, for those of you in an intimate relationship, there has been difficulty in that relationship with connecting to your person with maybe going forward in the same direction and, you know, just a sense of you feeling like um, just disconnected, like they're disconnected from you, you're trying and you, perhaps not getting the outcome that you want, okay? And then we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse for you. And again, this is about um, the the lack of abundance coming to you in your life. So there is a theme here that you've been going through. So Spirit, tell me, what does this mean for them in the month of February? This is kind of what they're going through. Is it staying the same or is it is it moving forward here? What's, what's going on for Capricorn? Okay, we have the fall in reverse. Full in reverse. We have the Five of Swords in the upright position. We have the Ten of Cups in the upright position. And we have the Nine of Swords in the upright position. So basically, Capricorn, what you're dealing with is you, you're still not in a situation in February. Capricorn, if you've never seen me before, I don't give fluff readings, okay? I tell you what I get, and that's just the way it is. I wish I could do fluffy readings. Um, and make people feel good and tell them everything's going to be okay. But I don't know. That's just life. I don't get it that way. Um, I don't get the fluff readings. Uh, 
maybe because I'm not a fluffy person, I don't know. But either way, um, you're not in a situation in the month of February where you can take that leap of faith, okay? So you're still kind of, um, there's anguish here, right? You're still kind of concerned and worried about things that have been on your mind. And again, I get this feeling of house and home and finances and wanting, uh, even work, like just wanting to move forward in your life in a way that is productive and seeing results, right? That's what I get. I just feel like you're just in this mental anguish of like, when is things going to turn around and, and, um, but we have the Ten of Cups in the upright position. So in the month of February, by the way, if this is your birthday month, happy birthday, Capricorns. Um, and anybody that's not a Capricorn watching this, um, if your birthday is in the month of February. Uh, but I do feel like there is an improvement in home life. So something in the home life changes where you feel more connected with your person. It could be because it's your birthday. I don't know. Um, and, and they're just connecting with you more and making more of an effort. Um, I don't feel like there's forward movement in an outcome in regards to home and finances, but spirit world is bringing me down to earth, <laughs> earth and grounding. So in the month of February, this is a time for you. It feels to me as if what spirit world is saying is that for you, what you're doing is making plans, setting things in motion. And because you're setting things in motion, um, you're setting them in motion, you're sowing the seeds now, but you will not, some of those seeds will not manifest, but some of them will. And when they will manifest is about September or October, even November for you. And I do feel that this has to do with, um, for those of you that are maybe dealing with housing stuff in a home and um, like wanting to look at your, your monies and, and how it is involved in your home, whether that be buying a home or refinancing a home or looking at retirement. So you're doing things in the month of February to set things into motion. And, uh, but you're not going to really feel anything until about September, October, November. Okay. So have some patience with that. Um, and here we have the nine of swords, right? So sleepless nights, worry. I mean, Capricorn, it doesn't matter what I tell you. You're a bit of a worrier, aren't you? You're worrying about stuff. I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't worry about their money and, and their livelihood and the right decisions? So you're just in a place right now that it doesn't matter that you're putting, you know, you're making good choices. You're putting things in place like you'd like, like it to happen faster. It just isn't because again, we have this Northward boost spiritual card. And again, it sees, I don't know, they're not woolly mammoths. I don't know what they are. looks like the same family though, but they're in, in a frozen condition as well. And so what we have here is you making um, spiritual connections with your higher self about how to move forward in your life, how to also I feel a sense here of uh, using, um, I feel like you've been a little bit disconnected from yourself um, because right here we have religious factors and I feel like you want to go more into your spiritual life, whatever that means for you, even if you're an atheist even if you're an atheist, you still believe, right? You just believe that there's no God, right? So whatever that spirituality is, whatever, however you define that, I feel that um, this is a time in the month of February that you will um, be seeking a higher connection uh, with your higher self and praying and manifesting and getting in touch with what makes you happy and what it is that you need in your life. So I know it may not sound like a good reading, but Capricorn, I do a lot of bad readings for people. And like I said, I don't do the fluffy ones. And energetically, this feels like a good reading. Reason why it feels like a good reading is because there's no, there's no surprises here in February. Things are kind of in hibernation mode. You're seeking a, a way forward. You're strategizing, right? And it, whenever you strategize, that's mental energy, right? So you're, you're looking at what is going on around you and you're making decisions about the burdens that you're carrying, all right? I don't look at that as negative. I look at that as 
that's good, right? Because some people just let stuff happen in their life and they don't do anything about it. They just sit there and spin their wheels, but you're thinking about it and you're thinking about a way out. And I see that you're doing that and manifesting that in February. When I say manifesting, that's probably a wrong choice of words, meaning that you're making decisions in February that that will will have a uh, come into bloom, come into fruition around September, October, November 2021. Okay, so I do really feel like and anything that can get you in touch with your higher self, even though you may be feeling a little bit rough right now or disconnected, um, anything that that pushes you to your higher self and connecting with your higher self is always positive Capricorn. So I really like this reading for you because there's no surprises, you know, um, but you are doing something here in the month of February that I think is going to be, you'll be surprised. I, that's the only surprise is that it's not now, it's later on. And I think you'll be, you know, pleasantly surprised by September, October, November when uh, things uh, start turning around for you. All right, Capricorn, I really hope that helps and I hope it gives you some hope and I will catch you next month. Bye.